hi welcome back to my channel my name is Lakin and today we are gonna be doing an Ashley Sievert foundation little chit chat get ready with me I already did my eye makeup and my eyebrows just to make this a little bit of a shorter video and to really focus on the foundation okay before we get into it don't forget to like and subscribe always comment down below let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see all right so let's just go ahead and get started so I'm gonna scoot up a little bit so that you can see my face and I do have a mirror right here so if I do look down um, that's why it's because I'm looking at the mirror and just to let you guys know I did already wash moisturize and prime my face so that we can just go ahead and get started with the foundation so with the Ashley Sievert foundation it's a mineral velvet cream um, it is one fluid ounce and it says lightweight to buildable full coverage long-lasting oil-free and hypoallergenic it is made in the United States and not tested on animals and I am in the shade Paris I can also wear Milan too, so if you are my skin complexion, then both of those two shades will work for you. Oh, and stay tuned till the end because there will be a giveaway. Okay, so I'm just going to put some of the foundation right here on this little palette. It says Love Fall. This is the top of a Bath & Body Works candle lid. I always save them because I love to put foundations on here and it really helps. So I'm going to start off with about that much. Hopefully you guys can see that. And I'm just kind of going to dot this all over. And I'm going to pull my hair back a little bit. And as y'all can see, I do have some redness in my skin. Really up here through the cheek area. And you'll see how this just covers it so beautifully. See how nicely that just covered that? It's only one pass. That's not even dipping back in to the little palette. Okay, so now I'm going to take some more of my sponge and we're going to do this side. And I'm not going up here close to my eyes because... I am going to go in with a concealer. And I'm not sure if you guys can see, but this eye is super red right here because I bumped my eye with my mascara. After I put on my lashes, I was going like really close trying to get my fake eyelashes and my lashes to mend together and I bumped my eyeball. So it is red. Sorry about that. And I'm just kind of blending it all out. And then now we're going to go on my forehead. And I don't know if I said it already, but I do dampen my sponge. And I've used this foundation with a lot of sponges, so it doesn't really matter what sponge you use. I've also used this foundation with a brush. Okay, I do have a little bit left on my little palette here. So I am just going to go in the areas that I would like a little bit more coverage. Okay, I used all that was on there. I'm going to do like a little bit of a pump, about that much. I'm just going to go over my forehead a little bit and areas that I want to build up to full coverage because I do like a fuller coverage. I 
then I will let you know that this foundation, it doesn't say it. It used to say it. Whenever I first started using the Ashley Sievert foundation, it was waterproof. And it doesn't say that it's waterproof anymore, but it is because um, the other day, November 5th, I got baptized again and I actually wore this foundation and I got fully submerged and then back out and my foundation still looked perfect. And how I'm going to do my foundation today with the powders and all that to set it is exactly how I did it for the baptism. So I think it's pretty waterproof. So I did have just a little bit left. So I am going to kind of go a little bit closer to my eye, but not up there. And then now I'm kind of going down my neck just a little bit so that there's no lines or anything like that because I don't want any lines. This foundation is so easy to blend together. It just really works with the skin really well. Okay, I'm really happy with the coverage that that gave me. So now we're going to go in with this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I am in the shade Light Sand. Now, I used to be neutral, I believe. But I really like that really bright under eye, so I picked this shade up. And then if you're wondering what's on my eyes, it is this nude palette by Huda Beauty. And I really love this. So I'm going back in with that same sponge and I'm just going to blend that concealer out. And I've even used a powder um, concealer with this foundation and it worked beautifully. The powder concealer that I use is the Bare Minerals Well Rested and I have used it with this and I didn't get any kind of like creasing or anything weird happen so this does work well with a lot of concealers okay now that I have that concealer I'm just whatever's left on my sponge I just like to go on the tip of my nose and I will let you guys know I have a really hard time with foundation staying on my nose I don't know if you guys have that issue too but this foundation works so well and it actually stays on my nose which is huge for me okay sorry I had to go get my powder brush I love bigger powder brushes like this to set my whole face and the powder that I'm going to go in with is the Too Faced peach perfect this is one of my favorite setting powders ever. I feel like it blurs all my pores, everything, so well. And this is the powder that I did use for the baptism too, so. Okay, so for my under eyes to set that, I am gonna go in with that Bare Minerals Concealer in Well Rested. And I'm going to be using the Morphe M536 brush. Looks like this. And what I like to do is I like to just take a little bit and then dab off a lot of it. And then I'm just going to go right underneath here. Just getting a little bit more on my brush. Okay, now I'm just going to touch and make sure that everything is nice and set. And that everything feels really good. Okay, we're going to go in with a blush. We're going to be using the Tarte Blush in Party. And I'm going to be taking the Morphe E4. I'm just dabbing in there. Hitting off the excess. I 
always go in with a little bit more blush than I think that I need because blush always disappears on me throughout the day. Okay, for my bronzer, I'm going to go in with the Morphe R2. And I'm going to be taking this NARS Laguna. Kind of old school, right? I just got this. So, I haven't used this in so long. But I remember this used to be like one of my favorite bronzers. I like to take it right here and then I also like to take it down my neck a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with the same NARS Laguna and I'm going to kind of just define it a little bit more. And to define it a little bit more, I'm going in with the Morphe M437. Okay, sorry about that. My battery died. I swear every video that I do, my battery dies. And that's because I'm really bad at charging it. But thank goodness for our two batteries. Okay, so I still want a little something on my face. So I'm going to go in with my Marc Jacobs, what is this, the Tantastic 104 Omega Bronzer. I'm going to be using the brush, my Becca brush. I absolutely love this brush. It is my favorite. So I'm just getting a lot on there and kind of bring it off a little bit. Put my hair behind my ears again. I am obsessed with this brush. Like this brush has got to be one of my favorite brushes. Not only is it good for bronzing, it is so good for um, buffing everything out. And making sure there's no harsh lines that looks really good okay so now I'm going to contour my nose and I just contour my nose just a little bit and the brush I'm using is a Kayla brush I got this brush from Marshall's it's in one of my hauls. And I'm going to just put some bronzer right here. It'll make your lips look bigger. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my Becca brush again. And I'm just going to kind of make sure that that bronzer is all blended out. And I washed this brush um, for the first time. About a week ago and it washed really good I just washed it and then I put it upside down and it kept its form and shape and everything so if you're wondering how the heck am I gonna wash that it washes really easily okay so now for highlight that highlight is literally one of my favorite steps and did y'all see that Jaclyn Hill came out with her new highlights are you guys gonna pick them up is this going to be another controversial launch and product? I really hope not because they look beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this highlight. I have never used this one. I have swatched it before, but it came in my BoxyCharm, I think, or my FabFitFun. I'm not really sure. But it came in one of those boxes. And this is the Steve... Laurent jelly highlighter and I did swatch it because it feels amazing it feels like really like wet and this is in the shade cotton candy hopefully y'all can see that but okay so for highlighter brush the highlighter brushes that I love to use is either the Anastasia Beverly Hills a 
or I really do love my Milani highlighting brush. So today I'm going to use my Milani highlighting brush. This is actually really wet. I might actually have to use this with my fingers. But let's try. Mm, I don't know how I like that. I really liked it whenever... I swatched with my finger, so let's just try to put it on my finger. It is a really pretty color, but I don't like that I have to put it on with my finger, and when I put it on with my finger, it just looks like a really harsh line. Okay, so... Let me blend that out. I'm going to blend it out with the Morphe Jacqueline Hill brush in JH05. Let's see if that will blend. Mm. I mean, it is really pretty, but I think that I would like to use this as an eyeshadow instead of using it as a highlight. So, let's grab another highlight. So I'm going to not use this brush because it did get it kind of wet, so I'll have to wash that. I know I always use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy, and that one is my favorite, but we're going to step out of the box today. We're not going to use my beloved. We're just going to put her down, and we're going to go in with this Kevin Aquan in Starlight. And I actually got this from Marshalls for $11.99. And I haven't used it. And I'm going to take that on my Anastasia Beverly Hills A23. Oh, yeah. This I like. And then I'm going to highlight the inner corner as well. And for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to go in with the Morphe m421 and i'm just gonna pop that right in the corner i actually want that corner to be a little bit more intense so i'm gonna go in with my morphe set and refresh mist in starberry this was the morphe and jeffree star collab There we go. Doing the same to the other eye. Did that flip? So I will say I do really like this um, Kevin Daquan highlight. Does it top my Amory see? No, but it's a really pretty like pink champagne -y look. And so now that I'm done with the face, I'm going to go back in with my nude Huda Beauty and I'm going to do my lower lash line. I'm going to be taking this brush. This is the Morphe M506 and I'm going to be going in with the shade Tickle. For my eyes, I really like the shadow underneath. I feel like it just ties my look all together. Now, if you don't like that, you can definitely skip this step. Just for me and my eye shape, this looks the best. And then I kind of connect it here to my crease shape, just so it nice. And blends out okay now I'm going to go in with a, another brush I'm gonna take this Morphe and Jaclyn Hill brush the JH 33 and I'm just gonna really blend that out and make sure it looks really good blended and make sure the blend looks really good because we do not want any harsh lines 
Okay, I'm really happy with that. I am going to take a little brush. This is the Morphe M213. And I'm just going to go in same palette in the shade Bare. And I'm just going to kind of bring back that white line here. I'm just kind of highlighting the brows a little bit. Okay, that looks really good. And now I'm just going to do some bottom mascara. And I'm going in with my Benefit Roller Lash. Really good. I'm also going to go through the lashes one more time. Okay, that looks really good. So now to tie this look all together, I'm going to go back in with that setting spray and I'm just going to spray everything just so that the powders and the foundation mix together and it just gives you like a really pretty seamless look. I do use a lot of this, I know. And now I'm just going to go and fan myself with my palette. Okay, last but certainly not least, I'm going to go in with this. This is the Kiss JLT02 Eye Candy Lip Gloss. And I want to say the brand is Joa, J-O-A-H. I got it from CVS and it is such a nice color. And it lasts a long time. So I'm just going to put this on. I'm not going in with a liner or anything. With this one, I feel like I don't need the, a liner. But it stays on really good. Okay, so that is super pretty. Maybe I'm going to try this little highlight right here over my lips a little bit see if it works that way oh that looks really pretty okay so let me fix my hair a little bit So what do you guys think do you guys like this foundation because I absolutely love this foundation um, this is definitely my reach for um, foundations it's definitely in my top five favorites I really love this foundation it'll definitely always be a repurchase for me like I said I am in the shade Paris so if you are my complexion Paris will work for you Milan also works for me as well um, so now to the giveaway so for the giveaway I am going to be giving away a Becca brush I really love this brush and I think that one of you guys will really enjoy this brush and this is the Becca one perfecting brush this is mine and I really love this brush so yeah I hope that one of you guys can enjoy this so to enter this giveaway um, you need to like subscribe and write a comment down below on how I can contact you and send you this brush. So good luck and I hope you guys win. This definitely won't be my last giveaway. I'm going to try to do a lot more giveaways. I have a lot of stuff that I have been accumulating for giveaways so I'm really excited. So yeah, if you want to win this Becca One Perfecting brush, definitely like subscribe and give me a comment down below how I can reach you um, if it's via Facebook or Instagram so can't wait to see who wins and I'll let you guys know on my next makeup video all right I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look I hope you guys are inspired and I hope you guys buy this foundation because it's so awesome you will not regret it so I'll leave the link down below for the website on how to buy this. And this is a close-up of the foundation. It is just so flawless. Yeah. All right. I hope you guys win the giveaway. Uh, let me know 
what you guys think about this foundation. I love y'all so, so much and hope y'all have a great day. So love y'all. Bye.